All right, so welcome to this morning's Truth About Protein video. Uh, today we're talking about the fruit content, sorry, the protein content of fruit. Mix that up. All right, so it is completely true that fruit does contain protein. That is not a lie. Uh, you see that written about a lot, especially in vegetarian and vegan blogs and forums. And, uh, and it's, it is 100% true. Um, a medium avocado contains about four grams of protein. One large banana contains about a gram of protein, as does medium-sized orange or a slice of watermelon. So the protein is there. Um, the issue with the protein with from fruit is, is just simply a matter of, I guess, calorie economy. In order to get about 20 grams of protein from just about any fruit source, whether it's a, a normal fruit or a, a dried fruit source, you're looking at well over a thousand calories. Uh, it's just the ratio of proteins to carbohydrates that is indicative of, of most fruit. So if you want to get about 20 grams of protein from fruit, you're looking at eating about a thousand calories. So it's not to say that getting your total daily protein needs from fruit is impossible, because it's not. It's just very, very difficult. You'd have to be um, well educated in the area of protein in fruit in order to do it, and you'd have to be very committed to the cause because, let's face it, that's a lot of fruit to be consuming. Um, my one concern about getting all of your protein from fruit is a relatively low amount of branched chain amino acids that's available in fruit. Uh, it's very difficult to find just about any fruit that contains, well, more than one gram of branched amino acids combined, because obviously the protein source is low, so as is the branched amino acids. You'd have to eat about 13 peaches uh, to about, get about a gram and a half of branched amino acids, and obviously um, eating 13 peaches comes with its own ramifications that, that may be negative in nature. So you may be doing a lot of work to get a gram and a half of branched amino acids and end up with a lot of gastrointestinal distress because of your work. So it's not impossible to get protein from your fruit. It's not impossible to get 20, 30, even the full 50 grams of protein from your fruit. It is very difficult and it is very impractical. So this is only something you'd want to do if for some reason you've decided to be a very strict vegan slash vegetarian and you don't want to have anything to do with any other protein sources. But for everybody else, uh, think of the protein of fruit as a, a very mild complement to your, your protein, your daily protein needs, but definitely not something you'd want to exclusively use to try to get your protein from. So I'm Brad Pilon for Truth About Protein and that is the protein in your fruit.